Hello, and welcome to Test Double's intro course on end-to-end -end testing with Cypress. My name is Jeremy Fairbank, and I will be your humble guide on this testing journey. At Test Double, we believe software is broken, and we are here to fix it. Our mission is to improve how the world builds software. Test Double's seasoned developer consultants work as extended members of your engineering team. We get things done by embracing your tools, participating in your process, and making improvements as we go. We tackle the technical and human aspects of every problem, striving to build both great software and great teams. If you'd like to have our consultants help your team, or if you'd like to join our awesome team of consultants, follow the links below. Cypress has grown immensely popular over the past few years, quickly becoming a leader in the world of web application end-to-end -end testing. At Test Double, we love using Cypress and helping our clients build safe and maintainable applications with it. But what even are end-to-end -end tests in Cypress? End-to-end -end tests are automated tests that verify all the parts of an application work together correctly throughout the whole stack. They've traditionally occupied the top layer of what's known as the testing pyramid. Each slice of the testing pyramid offers guidelines about how much your team may want to invest in those types of tests based on their value, speed, and maintainability. Although end-to-end -end tests provide reassurance that your application works as a whole, they tend to be the slowest and hardest to debug tests because they interact with the full stack. So, the testing pyramid generally recommends limiting the number of end-to-end -end tests focusing primarily on the most critical paths through your application. Many end-to-end -end testing solutions exist in the world of web development. Cypress has really stood out among the various options thanks to its many developer-friendly design choices. For the most part, JavaScript has become the default language of the web and a popular choice among many web developers. Cypress fully embraces that. Cypress tests are written in modern JavaScript, and Cypress itself is built with JavaScript. Little to no waiting, Cypress's declarative API lets you primarily focus on interacting with your application without worrying about when elements appear or disappear from the DOM. Cypress offers an impressive suite of tools for debugging and replaying tests right inside the browser. Cypress is an all-in-one package. When you install Cypress, you have everything you need to start testing. No extra testing frameworks or libraries to piece together. So, who is this course for? And is Cypress testing right for you and your team? Do you have a front-end web application driven by a back-end server? Do you want to have confidence that your app works correctly throughout the whole stack? Do you want to ensure Sev0 bugs don't come back to haunt you? Do you want to automate manual regression tests and user acceptance tests, ensuring features work as intended? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then this course is for you. Whether you're a front-end, back-end, or a full-stack software engineer, or even a QA engineer. So, what can you expect from this course? This course will be a follow-along tutorial spread across multiple short videos. This course also assumes you are new to Cypress. We'll start with basic concepts and build on top of previous videos to introduce more concepts. At times, you'll even refactor or rewrite previous tests as you learn more advanced topics. This course takes a pragmatic approach to get you testing with Cypress on your own as quickly as possible. So you won't learn all of Cypress's API and options, but you will still learn advanced techniques, best practices, and some of Test Double's recommendations. That being said, there are some prerequisites to this course. Since this pertains to web applications, you need to know HTML and have some experience with front-end web applications. As I mentioned, Cypress tests are written in JavaScript, so you need to be familiar with its syntax, asynchronous patterns, and interacting with JSON APIs. Also, you will need to use NPM to install Cypress. Throughout this course, you will test a provided demo application built with React, Ruby on Rails, and Docker. If you're familiar with those technologies, that's great. If not, no worries. We will limit the time we spend in the application source code 
and instructions for using Docker are provided with the source code repo. Speaking of source code, the demo app is hosted on GitHub, so you will need some experience forking and cloning GitHub repos. Ultimately, when you complete this course, you will be able to install and set up a new Cypress test suite, use many of Cypress's most important API commands, identify critical Happy Path user scenarios to test in your application, and identify what not to test with Cypress. Use different approaches to control your application data for deterministic tests. Create custom Cypress commands. Use advanced techniques to make tests more maintainable and eliminate false negatives that destroy productivity. And set up continuous integration environments to run your tests on a schedule and notify you of failing tests. Now that we've set the stage for this Cypress course, let's forge ahead. In the next video, you will learn how to install Cypress, initialize a test suite, and write your first test against the demo app. Mm -hmm.